Just got it from the Louis store, you know, regular day. But let's 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 get straight into it. Y'all don't y'all care about none of this. And I'm a little tired, you know what I'm saying? But let's let's get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Let's get straight into it. Shout out to my personal shopper. Shout out to her, Louis. Always showing us love. Always making sure whatever we need is there. So shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna put y'all onto where my shop is, what store it is, what location. Cause I don't like seeing people when I'm shopping. I just don't. Whatever I'm spending thousands of dollars, you know what I'm saying? I'm a cool dude, but I don't I don't like I don't like certain things, you know what I mean? I don't like that. You know what I mean? So let's get straight into this unboxing, you know what I mean? So boom. How's your day today though? Hope you're working hard out there. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all working hard. You know what I'm saying? When you're shopping at Louis, Gucci, all of these stores, get your personal shopper that you could contact at any given time to make sure your items are there and stuff like that. You know, I'm a simple guy. So, you know, at the end of the day, so, you know, I like certain things, certain ways, so. It's the right bag, you know what I'm saying? It's the right bag. So, let's take this out. You see it's two bags here, you know, I'm like crazy, but that bag is for another unboxing video, so we gotta make sure the algorithm fucks with us the right way, so. You know, it's just how the bad boy looking. It's how the bad boy looking, you know what I'm saying? And I needed this bag too, because I travel a lot, I move around a lot, and a lot of my stuff fits in here. And plus, my wallet is upstairs, but my whole Louis Vuitton, everything Louis Vuitton, you know, is, is, is this color. So this is like another stepping stone. So to the collection. So, you know what I'm saying? So this is what it is right here. Oh, so a little messenger bag, you feel me? The trio messenger, this fly is dope. You know what I'm saying? That this came with this. Fly. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Figured out. Hold on. Let me see something. You know? That's another bag. That's another. It's a whole another unboxing right here. But this the essentials that come with this right here. The essentials that come with this bag right here. Or it's a trio mix. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it gotta be this, so. Yeah. Let me do this for y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? For my luxury item people, you know, for the people that gotta have it. Oh, matter of fact, that's not even, that's, that's a whole nother, it's not it, it's another bag. It's a whole nother bag. A whole nother bag, come on. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's in here, that's a whole nother bag. Yeah, that, that's a whole nother unboxing right there. So yeah. So it came with a little coin joint too, you know what I'm saying? Let me open this for y'all. See how I look inside. You know what I'm saying? A little coin joint. You feel me? And this is like the only one they had in this location. You know? Got the Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. It's all in the details, baby. It's all in the details. You know? That's a whole other unbox right there. We're going to get to that. And, um,. That's a whole another joint too, you know. Feel me? So I look in there, feel me? Got your little pockets in here. It's, it's black, so if you know, it is what it is. If y'all want to see how I look, y'all can go buy one for a few thousand. You know what I'm saying? A little joint, you feel me? That's how I go. Now let's put it together. Let's see how it go. You know what's so funny? I don't be know how to do none of this shit. Like, so it's supposed to go like this. You know what I'm saying? Like this, so it's two separate bags, like this, like that. So let's put it together. Let's put it together. 
vibe with me. You know what I'm saying? Leave it in the comments. How was your day today? How was your day today? You know? How was it? Alright. So, let me see how I go. Alright, bet. This how I go. Technically speaking, so this how I go. You know what I'm saying? So, flat. Got the little locks right here for me. So that's how I go. For me, get my little thumbnail going. That's how I look. You feel me? And then you put the your little coin joint. And it's funny. These are popular. You know what I'm saying? These were so popular when. Like Wiz Khalifa currency, you know. Remember back in the days, he used to wear these joints. They always used to buy these by itself. I never bought this by itself. That was always to me a little. I don't know, but you know, like I said, I'm my old guy. So got to get the combination. So let's put it together. You know, never mind my energy. I'm a little tired. Getting this money, doing what I gotta do. So boom, this is how I'm supposed to look. You know what I'm saying? It's the trio bags, fly, it's classy. You know what I'm saying? Got this right here. It's fly. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, all in the details, okay? All in the details. You know? Bang. It's hard body. Oh, this is hard. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, I got it on both sides. So, yeah. Let's do that on this side. Boom. This side. You know? You can wear it however you want to wear it. I ain't going to do no demonstrations, but you know. More boxes that we're not gonna unbox in this video. You know, got the other bad boys, another joint. Like I said, we're gonna do more unboxing for this one in another video when I have more energy. But for the sake of, why not get it locked in now? And shout out to my shopper because she really looked out for me and she gave me some samples. And these samples. Oh, legit. Hold on. Let me see something. Let's see. It's getting mad samples. Mad samples. Like cologne samples and stuff like that. And where is that? Is this this one? She gave me like a few, but there was one that really stood out to me. Hold on. It's the... All right. So the... um. I'm tired. So yeah, the afternoon swim. Boom. Let me see this right. Your yeah, afternoon swim. Let me see. This smells. Let me see that. Focus. All right, boom. Yeah, that smells good. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm a kind of person, you know what I'm saying? I'm a kind of man. And listen, I wear cologne. I wear perfume for women. Why? Because there's certain smells that I go for that it don't, it don't matter to me. I go to uh, Bed Bath, Body Works, all that. You know what I'm saying? Just to get certain smells. Like... Me, I like to smell a certain way, you know what I'm saying? And fellas, women like how other women smell. And believe it or not, when I wear perfume, the smell comes off my body just a little bit different. So women be like, yo, what's that? They ask me what's that when I have on perfume more. Obviously, more so of a unisex smell for the weirdos out there. That, <laughs> you know, normally I go for like citrusy smells and shit like that. And most women like that shit. So I go for all type of shit. So I told her to mix it up for me. You know what I'm saying? This is also a little a little fly situation. You got to experiment. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling y'all wear no skirts and uh, uh, fingernail polish. But when it comes to the smell goods, it don't matter to me. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, let's focus. 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 All right. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to her for, for looking out. You know what I'm saying? Once again, you know, I like this bag. And this is the only bag that I like like this. And like I said, I like the mechanism. You know what I mean? I like the, the sound, you know, how clean it looks. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because when I first started my, my Louis collection, I started out with this color. And I was a little 
you know, skeptical on getting, you know what I'm saying, this, this color starting out, like just with my other wallets, my other bags, my scarves, my hats, just my Louis collection in general, I was like, you know, everybody went the brown. But I was like, nah, let me be a little different. And believe it or not, to me, in my experience, this stands out more. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm brown. And it's a little different. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with being different. And I'm the kind of person, whatever I buy is going to last me a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like a long, long, long time. So I like buying, you know, certain luxury items because of the quality and how long it lasts. But let me get into something else. Now that we got that out the way, we're going to do this unboxing another day. Now, you know the craziest shit and the most pet peevish shit I hate when shopping in luxury stores and things cost thousands of dollars, right? Mind you, I have like a regular jean jacket on, regular polo t-shirt, regular jeans. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't even jeans. This is like windbreaker joggers. And I had like my dad hat on. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking like this today. You know what I'm saying? Still look good, right? I'm looking like this today. So, you know, you can't really tell who got money. You know, this is real relaxed. I'm real relaxed. You know what I'm saying? My main pet peeve, my dudes, man. Stop walking into luxury stores where people are spending thousands of dollars. And by the way, I use credit cards. So I don't really carry cash with me. So, But still, when you're spending tens of thousands of dollars, excuse me, when you're spending tens of thousands of dollars, literally, Subjective. So that could be a little bit a little bit of money to somebody else and a lot to somebody else. But for me, when I'm spending thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on luxury items, me personally, I don't want you around me. Like physically around me. I don't want you in my area. Let alone, you know what I'm saying? Uh just walking through a store and not buying nothing, just window shopping. You got on Nike tech outfits, bro. Looking real shisty mask with the Nike tech outfits. Go on a website, bro. Like, why are you walking into a luxury store with a Nike tech outfit on? And you looking like you about that. And you looking like you about that. And you looking like you want all the smoke in the world. But for what? There's nothing but fly women in here that work there. Nothing but fly women there that's shopping. Nothing but fly men in there that, that's shopping. Why are you going in a store with Nike tech all black, damn near with a shiesty mask on? Why? What, like, 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 why? Even if you're just shopping and buying a pair of sneakers, why the fuck are you in a store with Nike Tex on? It just looks, it, it, you like, to me, you look like a fucking criminal. You go on some real shit, and it's like, you know, this YouTube channel, if you're new here, this is the first video you ever watch, this is the realest channel that I'm gonna make, and the most honest, because. I'm just like everybody else. I'm just like you. I'm no better. I'm from the streets. I'm from everywhere. Anything, I'm about whatever. I'm very professional, do my thing, but we all got the same background. We all got somebody in our family that's crazy. You got people in the streets that's crazy. We all got the same, we got the same story. So nobody is more gangster than the next person. So this is what I'm saying. Learn how to be in an environment where you don't make people feel awkward. See me, I'm a black man, right? I can make some people feel awkward just by being black. Now, I'm not talking about that. That's just st stupid motherfuckers. Because if you look at the fucking statistics, the mass shootings and the serial killers historically... Yeah, okay, cool. So if somebody's uncomfortable because of your complexion, your race, how you speak, whatever, that's unfortunate. And I don't give a fuck about them, and that's not what I'm talking about. If you're walking with a sh Nike tech on, you understand? With a shiesty on, even if it's rolled up. Why the fuck are you walking into a store like that that sells luxury items for thousands of dollars? Why? why? Like, like, I don't understand it. And then they looking at you, too. Like, they want the smoke. Know what I'm saying? They looking at you too. Like you want to smoke. Like people don't know. Like if you choose to walk outside and be like, right, I'm going to look like this. I try to dress appropriately for where I'm going. I don't even have a Nike tag. 
I used to back in the days. And even what I did, I would dress appropriate for where I'm going. I'm not, oh, let me look like this to fit in. No, 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 no. I don't give a fuck about people and their opinions. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, I have to be conscious of where I'm going. I want my experiences in life to be as seamless and smooth as possible. So I'm going to be comfortable for the environment that, I, that I'm in. Like, this is not even an expensive outfit, by the way. But I like to feel comfortable. You know what I mean? What they, what they say? Uh, charm and disarm, right? Like, I, I don't mind that. But what the fuck are you doing in the mall just walking around? Like, wait, what's the whole point of that? What's the fucking point of walking around in the fucking mall just walking around? People with their families. It's like, you know, like I said in my other video, get your shit together. Because <laughs> the world don't give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking to my people right now. The world don't give a fuck about you. The world want to count you out anyway. So the moment you give people a reason and opportunity to be like, oh, look at them over there. See, see, see. I'm telling you, there's nothing in the streets. It's, it's, it's nothing there. I'm telling you. And I'm saying this for a reason. Yeah, I'm unboxing luxury items. Yeah, I'm doing the YouTube shit. Yeah, you know, I'm just basically treating this like as a journal, you know, just for fun. You know what I'm saying? And obviously building my personal brand. But at the same time, it's like, the fuck are you doing? Then on top of that, you got these bum ass outfits on looking real devious and crazy around fly women. What what women feel comfortable? What women are you bagging? Dressing this like with Nike tights on with shiesties on. Now you can have a Nike tech on. You don't gotta be all black like you about to rob the place. Like what girl gonna give you her number? You looking like that, man. Do I gotta teach y'all niggas some shit? What girl in a right mind saying? Soon as dude start walking in, send the manager face. She was scared. I know she was scared, but she had to do her job. The moment you make people feel scared by your presence, and you looking at other people too, that's another thing. I don't do that. Like when I walk in, and people might be racist or have a certain st stigma about black people, and they, oh, look at him. You know, no. No matter what I think about myself, people still might be frightened of me too. Whatever. I don't look at people. I go in. I, I obviously identify my surroundings, see who's who, what's what, see what's going on, because I got to make sure I'm safe. But once I identify the, the, the surroundings in the crowd, hey, can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? Can I get this? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, can I get these things? I'm here to blow bread. Then... Let's take it a step further. Like I said, get you a personal shopper. Hit on a text. Du -du -du. Yo, you at work today? Yeah, I'm at work. I right, bet. Pulling up. <laughs> we pulling up. So give you a fair warning. We coming to blow this bread. So, but even if somebody else didn't <laughs> know we put the, the alert in that we coming to blow this bread, get your shit together. <laughs> Motherfuckers walking in there like and minding their business. Now, if you want to be seen and you coming and looking flashy, yeah, we're going to take a look. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're all spending this money. Why not? You know? A rich colleague. <laughs> I call them rich colleagues. Are you spending money too? Salute. As far as it go. But me looking at you like, yeah. 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 That shit look crazy, right? Especially if you blowing all this bread. Shit look crazy. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why, why are you looking so wild, nigga? You ain't gonna get, get, get no friends like that, nigga. You ain't gonna get no motherfucking girls number. You ain't getting nothing, nigga. They gonna call the cops on you, nigga. What's wrong with you? Why are you in the spot? And it's crazy because it happens all the time. I was in um the Louis store with my moms not too long ago in Soho, right? At nighttime too. Like around the same time. And yo, they had an armed undercover security guard there. Like, you didn't know. It was like 10 dudes walked in there. And they only bought this. This shit. One dude bought this. Just this. He just bought this, right? He bought that shit. And, like, everybody else just walking around. Like, it, it felt like they were surrounding it. Like, the, in the store. While we buying, and you know, $900 sneakers. $1,200 sneakers. 
seven thousand dollar bags. Feel what I'm saying? Perfumes, colognes, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred. And you racking a bill up, and all you see is niggas just walking around you, not walking around you like directly, but you understand what I'm saying? Like who wants that? So the message I'm gonna put out there to the, and it's not even like a young thing. It's old niggas too. It's not even a young thing. I be seeing old niggas like, like, cause then what are you gonna do? You know, I don't want to really promote certain things, but what are you really gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know what I mean? I guess, bro. Like. Shit get crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Niggas ain't let niggas ain't letting up. But at the end of the day, it's like, that's that. Blew some bread today. Save your money, your money will save you. You know what I mean? Work hard. You know what I mean? None of this shit. You do you, this shit only means something when you're working hard and you do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Self-made entrepreneur, run my own businesses, believe in yourself. Um, you know, I always feel like you can make more money by yourself. You know, so if you're an entrepreneur and you're thinking about, yo, should I stay at this job? Should I quit? Should I? Listen, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's like this, right? Keep a job until you don't need a job. Save your money. If you're looking to open your own business, learn your craft, master your craft, learn your industry, learn, you know, sales, learn the back end, learn everything. Because some people are just talented with the idea. You have to be well versed in everything that you're doing outside of the idea. Like you just can't say, oh, I'm gonna start a clothing line, or I'm gonna start a business. You have to see, you have to make it make sense them, as it makes sense. So if you think about, you know, going out there on your own, I would, I would, my, my rule of thumb is this. If I'm gonna be broke anyway, I'd rather just bet on myself. You know what I'm saying? Like period. So if you're self-motivated and you're thinking about, you know, getting out there and you're starting your own business, Go out there and do what you got to do. It's very simple. And it's it's not the the transition. And to me, the transition from the workplace to your own business and the mindset, that's simple. Now, everything is going to be an uphill battle, you know, from the inception of the business to everything. You know, I had launched my nonprofit because, you know, we giving back. You know, like I said, whenever you make money, you got to give back. It's only right full circle. And... That's still a problem, like back and forth with, you know, my legal team in regards to like, you know, what we need to present and and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Just to like lock everything in correctly. You know what I'm saying? And that's like a, a, an uphill battle, for an example. And that's to give fucking money away. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's not easy to do certain things, but, you know, when you're working on yourself and you're working for yourself, it's kind of easier. You know what I mean? But you got to be self-motivated. Don't look for no handouts. Don't look for nobody. Obviously, build a network, build your tribe, things of that nature. But, you know, the 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 transition from running your own business to me is the easiest part because now you know, okay, cool. I know what I'm going to do. I know how I'm going to do it. I know my business. I know my industry. I know my competitors. I know how to have an edge in the market. I know how to, you know, and to be frank with you, it's funny because that most people can afford to be in business. So if you could afford to be in business, like literally, like some people can't even speak to a client or service a client without feeling like running to the next client because they trying to like maximize or whatever. Most people can't, you know, they, they can't take their time and like service a client correctly. That's what I mean. So if you can afford to do that, that's your edge already. If you could service every client or, or whatever you're doing and you could do it with patience and and um, and finesse and you're doing it the correct way and you're making sure things are packaged, you know, you know I'm taking your time, you will you will you will um, supersede all of your competitors and all of your peers in your industry because you're taking your time and you can afford to, you know, take your time with the process. So that's really about it. And for my guys, man, stop walking into luxury stores looking like a fucking criminal. You're scaring the people, bro. Just saying.